Oh yay! Welcome back! So this video actually will be sharing about animation speed and how we actually can use the animation speed. Okay, so um, I will actually use the existing project that we have. You can actually refer back to the uh, set trigger animation video. Okay, so right now I will, I will be actually use back this uh, music string. I will open a new scene. Okay, so right now what we have is actually we are have a missing object which is the code. Okay, so I will actually use back this, but I would like to just introduce the speed. Okay. So I right click set as layer default state for this. Okay, so now the entry point is it will be actually straight away going to this music string. So which is the animation will keep playing just now, right? If we didn't have this should be not going to be affected. Yeah, it will just straight away go there, right? Because of this animator speed is actually 1. Okay, let's say if I actually set this animation speed to 0, it will not be actually play animation. Yep, it will just stop right here. Okay, so this actually can be used to control an uh, animation state as well. So um, we can just create a script. Let's say I will teach you how to actually assess the speed in coding part. Okay, so I will have a script holder. Okay, so I will create a C sharp script to actually demonstrate how to actually use coding to call the speed just now. Okay, so I will create an animation speed. I mean the script is actually called animation speed. And I go to my script holder, assign this script. Okay. So, okay. So, because of um, the animation is actually because of the animator component. So, in here, we will actually put in the animator to define it in our script. The music string anim. Okay. So, when start the game, probably we can set to zero, right? So, to actually access is actually very easy. It, it's actually almost similar with how we use set trigger just now. So, um, dot speed is equal to zero. Yep, that's all. Okay. So, right now, I'll just go and check this. Mm. Okay, so click on this animator. Make sure the speed is actually 1 so we can actually see whether our code can be checked or not. So, before that, you actually have to assign the animator as well. Okay, so right now we check and see when I play. Okay, yep, this, um, this music string will actually straight away change, just pause here, which is they were not playing. Okay, so if I take out this, definitely it will be playing. Okay, let's try and see. Okay, so we can actually use this to control our animation as well instead of using the empty state. Okay, so right now if I actually press on the string, and then it will play the music string animation. So we can actually just put in as usual when we create a button function and the speed just assigned to one. So the maximum number is actually one. Okay. So right now go to your music string and assign the function okay. so when I press on the play 
okay when I click yep it can be played right now instead of just using either so right now if let's say we didn't have this either it will be working as well it's just working as how we use either to control the animation okay so let's say if I actually don't want this to be loop, we have to go to our music string and untick this loop time. So it will just play in one time. Okay. So hope you understand the animation speed and how we actually use either to control the state of animation. So we can have another alternative way which is use speed to control it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, share and subscribe me. Thank you. So something to actually add on in animator speed. Okay, so what Chaye said just now is actually wrong. Da -da. So, um... So the one is actually for normal playback speed, but it can be actually more than one, okay? Even negative playback speed is actually supported as well, okay? So if you actually want much more faster for your animation, you can actually set to two, three, four. So at the end, still remember to like, share and subscribe me. Thank you.